Hello, my coffee matches my, my van. It's meant to be a Scott. It's meant to be. Yeah. Then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. So don't, don't worry too much, uh, that's... Scott Brown here. The plan this morning is to get ready for a concrete pile inspection. So they need to see the timber posts in the hole that we've dug and make sure there's plenty of clearance and that the post is in the right place. This is my one, yeah. It's like rock all the way down into the bottom, eh? Rock all the way. So it was a long and winding road to get to this point where all the holes are dug. Yeah, let me explain that first before we look at this. So I guess it all started with Rich coming under here on his own. And uh, what, you started with that hole over there, right? No, I started with this one. Oh, you started with that one? And then I took a break from that one. To... Took a break from that one to go and do that one. And yeah. then went back to that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hoping that that would somehow make it easier. Yeah. <laughs> and would you say it did? No, it made no difference. <laughs> Mentally, it was a great break though. Oh, well, that, yeah. sometimes that's all you need. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, basically, there's five holes to start with, and the first hole Rich started with was very difficult, so we went on to the, one, the second one, and then on the what, second day, third day, we came down and gave you a hand. Yeah, then you guys dug what, two or three? We dug two or three holes three. in yeah. like half a day? Yeah, no, in like, a, in like an hour or something. <laughs> <laughs> you were just finishing that hole, eh? The I was still going one. after you guys left. Oh my god. I, did, I reckon I spent about s seven hours on that hole. And it was mainly just on the last like 200. Like it, most of it was pretty good and then just that. It's just boulder. But I did start out with a small rotary hammer so that made a difference once I got a big proper break. Oh really? That helped? From this one to, to this one. Alright, do you want me to pass it in? Dedication. Yeah, yeah. And once I got the hill to Because those Azitos yeah, can do alright, eh? But it was alright, but once I got that heavy, like, solid rock, it just wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't doing anything. And then, um, then they introduced a new beam, just to make our life even more exciting. Yeah. And the first hole I dug on that was sort of... Wasn't bad, or...? Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was bit, bits they'd break off in big sections, the rock. It still yeah. took me, like, what, an hour and a half or something on it? Or an hour. And that, that was this hole over here at the entrance. So there's two posts over there and one post here basically rich did all the posts and he just had two left and took a mental health day took a mental health day <laughs> with the family <laughs> and basically uh Pido and i decided to jump under here because we've got this inspection today um so we just need to dig the last two holes that was it and drop some posts in and we'll be ready but that isn't quite what happened what's up team under the house we go eh? no watches Hopefully we won't hit rock like Richard did. Oh, we need the hilti thingy, don't we? So this is the kind of rock that we're pulling out. Volcanic rock. I know it looks porous, but it's very hard. It lets water go through, but chisels go through with a bit more effort. And I've gone down about 200 mils, getting close to 300 mils. Part has got down a bit further, but we both had almost nothing but that stuff. So basically, I started digging there and I started hitting rock immediately. Pyro did the same. Um, his was a bit more loose though. He, ma he managed to dig around it and then chisel away, but it still took the majority of the day. And um, mine took all day, literally all day. So my hole is about 800 mils deep now. But uh, at least I dug it up. Eh? I better double check the concrete quantities. Might be like a meter of concrete. You can eventually turn it, uh, you could eventually become a master of it. It's the only way to become a master of something. You really would it. All right, inspection just happened. Drum roll, please. What do you reckon, pass or no pass? Oh, it's gonna be a pass. Pass, easy, bro. Easy. He looked at the giant hole that you did, eh? Yeah. Just like, this could hold up a house. This one hole can hold up this house. <laughs> pass. It's a pass. Good. That was the 
Council inspection, passed. Next is the engineer, who should be here right after we finish lunch. Even though we didn't have all the posts in the holes, we've got like two to put in. You can see that we're doing the ones that we were doing correctly. And you can see the sizes were good, and we're using the right stuff, so that was a pass. Now we've got the engineer on the way. They're usually a little bit more, um, they want to see everything. So I'll finish my chili jam, tomato, cheese, toasty, and then we'll do that. What'd you have, bro? Uh, last night's pizza. Mmm. Italian, gourmet stuff, though. Gourmet? Oh yeah. my god. Made by real Italians. <laughs> Are you Italian, eh? No. Well, my dad's name is Tony. <laughs> The concrete's about to arrive any minute now. Nick Rich, eh? Keep calling for getting rich, Nick and you rich. All the same to you. Oh, you wanna grab those, bro? I'll just go grab those bolts and blades. Oh, oh look at that, eh? Oh, thanks, Nick. Video. You're on the video, Nick. Look at that. Coffee all around. Good treats, bro. Treats. Mr. Chi, eh? Oh, let's see it. Oh my god. Hey. Dad reckons I'm getting fat. <laughs> so you've been putting on weight since you started working for Scott. Oh, it's poor time guys, it's poor time. So we've got the truck and we've also got the pump. Now a lot of people will be watching this thinking, why on earth are you paying for a pump and a truck? Well it actually works out to be cheaper when you factor in labor and everything compared to buying a bunch of bags, mixing it, putting it in a mixer and then trying to transport it underneath a house. So, pump. No complaints. Wait, you got you. So you're all good to coordinate that? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Sorry, Scott, it all happened so fast. <laughs> Not the most exciting footage. So that was, how long did that take? What time is it? I don't know, it took like 20 minutes. Um, in 20 minutes? Out, in and out. Yeah. And you were under there with the pump guy. Me and Rich were putting nogs in. Got some good GoPro footage. Not really. <laughs> we, we got footage of one hole being poured. Compare that to having, I think I worked out 50 bags that we would have need. Um, what? That's the last of the concrete. <laughs> look at your quantity, bro. Oh, bro, look at that. You're wasting them, mate. Yeah. Quantity, <laughs> quantity <laughs> server, mate. That's what you should have been. Quantity <laughs> server. Yeah. So what was the cost of, of the truck, those two? Um, uh, they told me about 600, so I haven't got a bill yet. What, all up? All up. Like so truck, the and, truck pump. and the pump. The, bag, the bags were 500 or something, right? Yeah, it was 596 for the bags the bag. for the first five holes. And we needed more bags than that for oh, the other shit. three. So right. unless that goes substantially over, like you yeah. saved, you saved yourself hours um, of labor. And yeah. 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 Pretty much. Well right. done. Concrete done. Post yeah, in. Guys. So now we can, uh, now we can relax. Stop digging holes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching this exciting episode. Catch you guys in the next one. Yeah.